beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. Look sad. Been lost. Like the first time I saw you. <laughs> Can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's I did? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? <laughs> Have they made any progress on the info war? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <clears throat> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. I've been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate, empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Oh, Cole, wait. Come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in 
I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. We don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Found her. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Find a way to open that door. Crap. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Too far away.
Oh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. You shouldn't go in. Well done, Nora. Your mother and the father, both gifted. Do you? how important this baby is you won't be able to Nora let us take care of everything it's for the best you know that oh, that's, that's my baby bring her back I changed my mind I want my baby so date her quickly please get the baby oh, I out want of here Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. My little girl. My little girl. I was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. change that.
sorry, Jody. Powerful condenser I've ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Ethan! Oh. It's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Ivan. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. the lies, Nathan? Those people pretending to be my parents. The DPA thought you needed a stable emotional environment. A home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life. Whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? What was I to you, Nathan? A little... Lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody... Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them, and they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you 
know what would happen if a passage is open. It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the evil world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. For the mission's sake, try to keep Aiden from killing you. But no promises. Well, we're up to a great start. I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Aiden, where are you? It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. Now. Uh, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden?
You're freezing out here. Could you please find somewhere we can hide? 